Hi guys, Kathy Pelletti from PTD Personalised Training. Today I'm here to talk about motivation and winter. This is the time of year where a lot of people tend to let their fitness fall by the wayside. And I'm here today guys to tell you that this is the time of the year that you actually need to step up your training. Why? Because this is the time of the year where we get hammered by colds, coughs, flus and illness. So we want to make sure that we're maintaining our nutrition and our training to make sure that our immune system is firing on all six cylinders. We want to be nice and strong. And I don't know about you, but I'm not keen on those, that feeling of razor blades in my throat and a nose that continually uh, keeps dripping. So this is the time of the year where we want to find that motivation to keep up with our training to ensure that we're at our best in terms of health and fitness. So I've got three little tips for you today on how to keep up that motivation over the next three months. My first tip is, if you're not the kind of person who can pull themselves out of bed in the morning and put on your walking shoes and go for a walk or go for a run or hit the gym, or if you can't do that at night time, so if once you've finished work and you can't, uh, you know, you're not the type of person who will go straight to the gym or go for a walk with, you know, when you get home, seek the services of a personal trainer. Why? Because all you need to do is turn up, train, and you get to go home. You don't have to think about what you need to do. They've got it all there for you. You work hard, you go home, and you've done something great for your health. My second tip, if the personal trainer is not for you, is seek a gym membership. So there's a lot of gym memberships out there now that are very flexible um, and <coughs> uh, sorry, and also affordable. So you know, there's always the gym membership. A lot of gyms now are also 24/7, which is an added bonus that you're not restricted by time. So you know, you're not restricted by the gym opening at six o'clock or five o'clock and closing at nine. If you're a shift worker. It doesn't matter what time you finish work, you still get to the gym. If you're a mum, dad, or you work late, you can work into the you can work the gym into the hours that suit you. The gym is open 24/7, so there's another great option. Also, health funds nowadays tend to subsidise gym memberships. So if you've got a private health fund, be sure to ring up your health um, fund provider and find out whether or not their services are covered um, by your gym. Um, sorry, the gym membership is covered by their their policy. A lot of personal training now is also covered by gym um, by private health funds. So ask, inquire about that as well. These have been set up so that it makes it affordable for you guys to get out there and maintain your health and fitness. So use it to your advantage. Find out what your health provider um, provides in terms of gym and personal training, and if they do provide that sub, um, subsidised cost, you know take full advantage of that. If a gym membership is not for you, then there's my third tip, which is, and my third option, which is group training. So if, you know, you don't like the services of a personal trainer or you can't afford it and a gym membership is just not for you, try the group option. Why do I like group training? For two reasons. The first reason is because you still get to see a personal trainer. So you're turning up to training, you're not having to think about what you do, you just turn up, you do what you're told, you go home, you've done something great for your health. The second reason why I like group training is because of the social, of the social aspect. So, you know, you've got Jono, Dicko, Stevo, Liz, Judy, Michelle, they're all at training. So when you're going to train, it keeps you motivated as well because not only are you going to do something good for your health, but you're catching up with friends as well. And that's an added bonus. So guys, there you go. There is my tip for keeping motivated over winter. Seek the services of a personal trainer. If that doesn't suit you and you can't afford it, then you know look into a gym membership. Come rain, hail or shine, it doesn't matter on the weather. You've always got somewhere sheltered to train. They're open 24-7 majority of them nowadays, which means that you can train at any time that suits you and they are affordable. The third option again is group training. So two aspects there, you get to see a personal trainer on top of also making some good friends and keeping yourself motivated over the winter months and ongoing as well. So you know your health not just um, from you know three months of the year, it's twelve it's twelve months of the year for as long as you live. So think about that as well. So there you have it guys. I hope this has been useful and I hope you're feeling a little bit more motivated. If you do need a trainer in Sydney, I'm here, so please find my details below. 
feel free to contact me. I'm only too happy to help you out where I can. Otherwise, look on Google um, and try and find someone who's in your local area, be it a personal trainer, um, group training, or a, or a gym. I hope this has been good. Um, if you have enjoyed my little clip, please feel free to subscribe. But again, guys, this is a time of year where you really do need to maintain your good nutrition and your exercise. So make sure you stock that fridge up with lots of veggies, a lot of lean meat, um, get into lots of soup, very convenient, um, and a good way to warm the insides as well. Good way to also keep that weight off um, instead of eating those fried, fatty, comforting foods. All right, guys, have a great winter. Keep motivated. I can't wait to see those cute bodies on the other side. See you later. Bye. I feel good. I knew that I would now.